Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today we're going to be working on rounding numbers. I've got some really easy ways to think about it and some great strategies for you. So let's dig in. Okay, so I want to start with my favorite way of teaching rounding, which is to use this illustration of a hill and really think about um, our rounding rules with this hill. So let me show you what I mean. My hill is starting with 1,000, and then it goes all the way up to a halfway point at the top of the hill, and then it keeps going up to 2,000. So the first thing we wanna do when we're thinking about this rounding hill is think about what is that halfway mark? What's halfway between 1,000 and 2,000? What do you think? Okay, you got it, it's 1,500. So we'll write that on the top of the hill. Then if we're trying to round between 1,000 and 2,000, so that would be if I asked you to round to the nearest thousand, we can use this to help us figure it out. So let's just pretend like we're starting at 1,000 and we're driving a car and we run out of gas right at that 1,245 mark. What would happen in real life if you ran out of gas right on that side of the hill? Okay, you got it. You would roll back down to the 1,000. And that helps me to teach that that would be the closest thousand. So we would round 1,245 down to 1,000. Okay, let's give you another number to see if we can practice. So let's say we start back at the 1,000, we're driving our car, we get past the halfway point, and we run out of gas at 1,725. What would happen there? Okay, you got it, it would roll to the 2,000. And that's because it's closer to the 2,000. We would want to round that number to 2,000. So the hill just helps me think of it that way and helps me pick the closer thousand. But you can also use just a regular number line too once you get the hang of it. All right, one thing we haven't talked about yet is what happens if we drive up the hill and our car stops right at 1,500, so at the top of the hill. What do you think might happen? All right, so I bet you had all sorts of ideas and answers, but I'll just go ahead and tell you that it would be really easy to push the car to get down the hill and then over to the 2,000. And we're gonna go all over the rounding rules so that you'll know that any time you have a number on the halfway mark, you get to round up. It's not really closer to 1,000 or 2,000, so that's why we need a rule for it. All right, so now we need to talk a little bit about some rounding rules that are just really good to know. Sometimes you're not going to feel like drawing a hill every time you're rounding something. And so we have some rules that will really help you to round a little quicker. So here are the rules. When you're looking at a number, and let's say we're rounding to the nearest hundred, okay? So we're going to want to underline the hundred and circle the place value right next to it. So the tens, so we're gonna circle the tens and those tens are gonna tell us what to do with that hundred. Are we gonna round up? Are we gonna stay at that? And so here are the rules. I like to say it in a chant and then it helps me any place value I'm rounding to, I can do this every time. So here's the chant, it's Zero to four, stay on the floor. Five to nine, go up the line. All right, here's another hill. I chose some bigger numbers just to give a little more of a challenge. So we are going from 10,000 
to 20,000. And remember, the first thing we do is find what is that halfway point. So what is halfway between 10,000 and 20,000? Okay, awesome. It's 15,000. So you always want to put the halfway mark in there. Then I'll give you a number to see which side of the halfway mark it's going to be. So my number is 19,123. Where do you think that goes? All right, great, right there. Now let's try to round it to the nearest 10,000. So is it going to round, is it going to make sense for it to round to 10,000? Or is it going to make sense for it to round to 20,000? All right, you might have an idea, but let's also go ahead and try out the car example just to double check. I always like to do that at the beginning when I'm learning about rounding so that I feel more comfortable with it. So I'm at 10,000 in my car. I'm going to drive up the hill up the hill, I get past that halfway mark, and then, oh, I run out of gas at the 19,123 mark. So what's gonna happen? Okay, you got it, we're gonna roll to 20,000. So that means it's closer to 20,000, and we're gonna round it to 20,000. Great job. All right, here's some examples for you to try out. We're going to be rounding to the nearest 10,000. I want you to give it a try and we'll come back and check your work. All right, here you go. Great job. I hope you learned a lot today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope this strategy of the hills and the cars can really help you get into rounding more. And I hope this helps you this year in your math class or at home. 